Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes here on my channel. And today I am very excited to get to finally share with you the Winter Be Relaxed box that's been sent to me for review. Just in case you're not familiar with it yet, Be Relaxed is a great quarterly lifestyle box, very Higa inspired. They do lovely curations and they find us really unique items. I love that they have a featured artist every single time and I do think the price is really, really reasonable. So it's $89.99 per quarter. You can buy them as one-time boxes, but the way that you really save is if you're able to go ahead and buy what they call a year of Be Relaxed or essentially an annual subscription right up front. They do a flat rate for the shipping and that's really where you're going to save a lot because they get us such unique pieces. Sometimes the boxes are really odd shape or oversized and the shipping can get a little bit pricey. So if you're able, I highly suggest going ahead and going for that year. Now, if you do the quarterly box, you can use the code NOEL10 to save 10%. If you do the annual subscription, you are already saving, but you can put in the notes, not necessarily in the discount code field, but in the notes, you can write NOEL gift, and they will make sure that you also get a free gift in your first box. So I think that is a nice little extra treat. If you are able, don't worry, I will put all of those details for you in the description box below, but let's finally get into our box. So not too crazy of a box size this time around, and they were really great about sending a little email out to everyone letting them know there was a little bit of a shipping delay on one of the items but they are going to get these out as soon as possible this box also often sells out so if you're thinking about it i highly suggest getting in on it now i did already pre-score that nice branded tape but i haven't uh peeked inside too much so let's go ahead and see yes there is their lovely lovely presentation always a plus for presentation so we have a little b sticker and of course a little sprig of lavender to uh kind of set the mood right set the mood for our lovely box of goodies inside a lot of times there's other boxes within so i'm gonna try to open it up as neatly as i can because i do like to take photographs of this box for over on my instagram account and then there is a little note card in here for me as well as our product card so they have kind of an overarching annual theme last time it was pollinators which i thought was a really really cool sort of naturey theme and this time around i believe it is what does it say let me read the card first because I think they're going to tell me there. I know the theme for this winter box is mindful moments, which I love. Great way to start the year, right? So here is my little note card from Gwen and Sarah. So it says, we hope this first box in the Seasons of Comfort, so very, very Hugelig again, Seasons of Comfort series brings you some moments that inspire rest and relaxation. Thank you for unboxing. And again, they are so great to the NoBots, which is what we call subscribers of this channel. And sometimes you guys get exclusive discount codes codes even earlier than everyone else if you're in our Facebook group. So remember, if you haven't signed up for that, do join us over there. You do have to answer a few questions to get let into the group though. Do remember that. All right, guys, let me give you a little bit of a sneak peek now. So I don't think I'll give too much away, but you can kind of see there's a few different boxes in there that we get to open up together. So let me go ahead and uh, read our card that says mindful moments. Isn't that a pretty image? I think that's a lovely. I wonder if that's Amy Rice's work. That's the artist that they always feature in the box. So it says, winter is the perfect season to rest, reflect, and set your intentions for the new year ahead. This cozy curation will give you all the tools you need for quiet moments of self-care and mindfulness. We love that. And based on some of the previews that we've seen, some of the spoilers that we've seen over on Instagram, it does seem like sort of helping you to set up some self-care mindfulness time for yourself. Now on the back, this is where we see all of the items that are listed uh, and it does look like they have included the retail values for us again we have six different items uh, ranging in price or value from $15 all the way up to $60 there is usually kind of like a big hero item and often it is one of my favorite things there's usually an item like I said from Amy Rice art and then there's usually an item that's by be relaxed and be relaxed in the past has given us you know sleep sprays they've given us nice uh, beautiful lotions they have made a vase for us, which was probably my favorite Be Relaxed item. Amy Rice has put together gorgeous items. I think my favorite one was probably the print or the tray. Like, I just think it's really cool that they work with a local artist. So that said, let me go ahead. I just, The box that I first pulled out was our Amy Rice exclusive piece. So let me go ahead and open up this box. 
So, oh, this is kind of interesting because I get a little sneak peek by reading the paragraph here. So it says this, low, oh, I gotta get through some tape now. This simple yet elegant tool can be used to track daily priorities, set monthly intentions, and help form positive self-care habits. So you probably have guessed that it is indeed a habit tracker, but it's just in this uh, cardboard and I'm trying to figure out what kind that's going to look like. Is it like a notebook or, oh, we've got another another bit of a bow here. So let me put this off to the side, but they did keep it from getting bent. So here is our ribbon. And then there's a, like a little bundle here on the back. Let me go ahead and slide that out. Okay, so they're individual like cards. It's on cardstock. So we got a little uh, sort of easel to basically rest things on. Of course, you can use this for all kinds of things, but hold on a second. There we go. So if you have any little like nice art pieces, you can always put that on there. So that's kind of a nice thing that they did include. Now, let me see if I can pull this off without necessarily uh, untying the bow. Let me see. Sometimes I can and sometimes I can't. Sometimes I have to go ahead and snip things if they've tied things pretty tightly, but I think I've managed. All right. So yes, this is our daily habit tracker. This is a really pretty image. Look at that. I love that color of of like violet where it's just almost bluey bluey purple if that's a word so it says we partnered with amy rice art to create a calendar that is easy to use and beautiful look at, to look at in your home or workspace this simple yet elegant tool can be used to track daily priorities set monthly intentions and help form positive self-care habits designed with extra space at the bottom for important reminders or small notes of gratitude and this is kind of cool because we finally got an image of amy herself with her pup it says amy rice is a mixed media artist printer and flower farmer with a studio in minneapolis Minnesota. She has exhibited her work extensively at art galleries in the U.S. and beyond. So that is the image there of Amy. So even if you don't wind up using the habit tracker, you did get kind of a cool print that you could set right here onto this little uh, easel or anything else that you have. But let's take a look at what they look like. So it looks like I'm guessing we probably got 12 of them now. You're going to be getting this in February. But of course, the nice thing is they are not dated. So this is what it looks like. This is the basic format for one. So I'll show. Oh, this is kind of cool. So it looks like it's kind of like pieces of that larger image that I showed to you, little like slices of it. So some of the uh, pages are different. Some of the cards are different. I'm wondering how many different designs there are. So you can see sometimes it goes all the way across the top. We had this one where it was like a little sliver. This one where it was a different little sliver. I think I have found three different designs. So that's kind of cool. All right, so you can always change that up. And of course, you could probably add your own doodles along the edges if you'd like, but let's take a look. So you can see it is basically an empty calendar. And then along the bottom of each of the days, there is a triangle, circle, and square. And then at the bottom here, you do a key. So maybe one is you drank eight glasses of water. Maybe one is you did 20 minutes of exercise maybe one is you know you took 20 minutes to meditate so whatever sort of habits you are trying to set for that month or you know you could do for the whole year but it does have it where the first is in that first block so for me just visually in addition to writing the month name at the top I usually have to go ahead and put the day of the week at the top so for example February 1st was a Wednesday so I would go ahead and put Wednesday Thursday Friday just so that I don't get mixed up I like I like to have that um, so I'm kind of surprised that they went ahead and put the numbers in there just because that makes it difficult but it's kind of also nice that then they took one extra chore out for us so that is kind of cool so like I said I don't necessarily use things like this I probably should more often even even if you're someone who already has you know your big whiteboard calendar that you change out every month for your family or you have a really legit uh, bullet journal that you do for your day planner you could always take one of these and go ahead and paste it right into one of those bigger pages and use that as your habit tracker within a bigger journal that you already have going and like I said it's not dated so you don't have to use it this year you can save it for a little bit later and uh, you don't have to obviously use the 12 months for this 12 months we're currently in you could just have these for when you are starting to uh, do a different habit but you could also just enjoy this really pretty print so it says the value on that is $35 that seems a bit high, but again, we are getting original and exclusive artwork, so I do think that's kind of nice. 
All right, so here is an item that uh, is not usually one that I use, but I can see the value in it and I can see how it's very on brand. It is a pair of socks, but I do love this lovely green sort of celadon color. So you can see there's some little bees and honeycombs and then there's like an embroidered key, I think there. So let's see, it says socks that build homes. We'll have to read about that. So it says your purchase today helps families build strength and stability through shelter. Each sale of this pair donates to Habitat for Humanity strengthening their mission of a world where everyone has a place to call home. That's cool. So it's by a company called Conscious Steps. So I'm guessing different pairs of socks um, support different organizations. That's kind of neat. So what does it say? Bee Socks by Conscious Step. Make your feet and the planet happy with these buzzworthy bee socks. Fair trade certified and made with GOTS certified organic cotton value $15. That's about right for a pair of socks. Again, I don't wear a lot of dress socks. I sometimes wear fuzzy slipper socks around the house. It's been really cold this winter, but I can see how this goes with the idea of a mindful moment taking some time for yourself, right? So let me put that off to the side. All right. Okay, so this is the item that, uh, no, that's not the item. So this is the Be Relaxed item this time around. So it says Mindfulness Candles, a kit to encourage quiet moments in your day to reflect, give thanks, or simply pause. And it is Be Relaxed branded there, but a very nice little box. I just have to figure out how to open it up. And I have a feeling this is what I heard sort of tinkling in <laughs> in there because I did, I, I, you know, I waited to open it up and everything, but every once in a while, if I hear like glass or something that sounds like it could be broken, I will write, reach out to the box owners and just make sure because you guys know how my mail carriers are. But they were like, I think it could be one of two things and I think everything's wrapped pretty well so you should be okay. So this little set that they've put together for us, it has a little instruction card and then we have got so three, three different things in here. Let's see what they all are. So hold, let me see where it is on the card. Mindfulness candles, this has a value of $20. That seems fair for what they have provided for us. So it says step one, light candle. So I'm guessing that these are our candles. So let me go ahead and slide this out and see how many we got. Light one beeswax candle in the ceramic holder. Let burn for 15 to 20 minutes. So I'm guessing that's probably the length of time that these little skinny taper candles burn, uh, which is kind of cool. I think they'll actually work with that uh, anchor of hope candlestick holder that I just got too. So it's kind of an unusual candle size. Yes, these are so pretty. Nice natural beeswax color. Let me try not to get them too scratched up, but I'll hold them up for you. So we got five of these in that lovely color. This is about the length of them, so I don't want them to, to fall to the to the to my desk and get all scratched up, but I love beeswax candles. And they gave us this cute little ceramic holder. Very, very simple. You guys know I like that. But like I said, I have that other new fun one so they're a little bit wobbly in there the hole is a little bit bigger than the candle but all you have to do of course is melt the bottom of that candle just a little bit and then it will stick right in place and then you can start your mindfulness practice so that's kind of nice and you guys know I love this so whenever we get candles in boxes I love when they also include some matches so we got these really cute little black tip matches in there to uh that's what I heard rattling around in the box so that is kind of awesome so it says let burn for 15 to 20 minutes. Step two, rest and reflect. Use this time for focused self-care or to sit and watch the gentle flicker of light. Let your mind run free and simply be. Step three, repeat. Use daily or whenever you need a few minutes of mindfulness. So you have that allotted time. It's kind of like a beautiful timer instead of just uh, flipping a, you know, a what are those called, an hourglass? <laughs> like we all have an hour. But instead of doing that or setting the timer on your phone, which can be so jarring when it finally goes off or the alarm on your oven or whatever, just allowing that candle to burn and taking that time for yourself, I think is a really beautiful idea. So that's, that's kind of a cute little kit that they gave us. All right, now here is the item that was one of the spoilers over on Instagram. So it's by a company called Bursera. It's a volcanic rock diffuser. So it's got this kind of sleek black box. Now it says, uh, this has a value of $29. It says, create a calming sensory experience with these real lava rocks. Put five to 10 drops of essential oils on the rocks to gradually disperse on the fragrance in your space. So you've probably seen this before where we have lava rock beads sometimes on diffuser bracelets and jewelry inside it says your inner calm on the inside so let me and this is what she also thought might have been rattling around in there that's fair let me go ahead and get this tissue paper off 
so I, I couldn't really tell if they were like round lava rocks or rough lava rocks so we've got this nice little simple black tin I think it does have like a logo there on the top let me see I don't know if I'm opening it upside down or not so inside we've got some rocks now I'm glad that they told us what it was because if I just got that box and you didn't tell me what I was supposed to use them for it'd be like getting a lump of coal in your stocking I'd be like cool I got four rocks that <laughs> I don't know. So uh, this is kind of cool just because I always, when I see volcanic rock, it makes me think of home because I did grow up on the island of Hawaii. But of course, with volcanic rocks, as cool as they are, as useful as they are being diffusers for your essential oils, you are not supposed to take any rocks at all, even from the beach uh, from Hawaii. It is very, very bad luck. So uh, I will say it to me personally, and this is no fault of Be Relaxed, I feel like that $29 is a little bit high for some lava rocks that kind of look like landscaping rocks to me uh, but it's nice because they do have that element of nature so you could just put them into any of your potted plants or you know you could have them on a shelf uh, you can have them be very very discreet and sort of hidden even up against you know your lava rock uh, fireplace if you have one of those it kind of reminds me of that sink that scene in everything everywhere all at once now whenever I see rocks I feel like maybe they're talking to each other um, <laughs> but so we got four of these they're just all different um, basically black rocks I again I it's not on be relaxed but I feel like uh, Bursera might be uh, giving those kind of a high retail value i mean the packaging is lovely i'll have to read up on it and see why these volcanic rocks uh are extra special maybe they came from some remote area and i don't know iceland or something but they did also give us some essential oils which i'm happy about so that kind of makes it feel like a little bit more of a complete item right in the box so we did get let me get this a uh, little bit of shred off pretty purple bag or is that blue like a really royal blue I gotta say it's got a, a nice color to it though I'm loving loving it so and it's, it kind of goes along with of course this this beautiful piece so I'm feeling feeling the color coordination so we got a little uh, a little essential oil blend from a company called Sixth Sense. Very cute. Uh, so it's 100% uh, pure gratitude, apparently. Um, it is 0.33 fluid ounces or essentially 10 milliliters, which is like kind of the normal size for an essential oil blend. And they're putting a value of this of $19. That's uh, pretty comparable to most uh, essential oil blends this size says promote peace wherever you go with this uplifting blend of 100% pure high quality essential oils so of course you could use this in your uh, misting diffusers you could use these on your volcanic rocks you could use these on your volcanic rock beads that you have in any diffusing jewelry um, $19 does seem fair let's see if I can read the ingredients so we've got spearmint that sounds nice uh, sage let's see and then it gives you know the Latin name chamomile and i think i saw geranium so and myrtle okay so those five cents actually sound very like kind of earthy and grounding and i could see how this would be really lovely so i'm see i'm picking up what they're putting down in terms of this whole experience all right you guys let's finish up with our final item right so you've got your daily habit tracker maybe you are going to include your mindful meditation time as one of the things one of your triangles or circles or uh, squares you're going to Light your candle and take that time for yourself wearing your cozy socks put a little essential oil onto your diffusing rocks to give you that little extra bit of um, aromatherapy it's always nice to uh, use all the senses when you are trying to meditate or find that moment of mindfulness all right this is oh okay this is a hot water bottle I was I didn't know what to expect honestly from this but I should have looked at the front so you can see someone's holding it it's kind of like a belt size but I do love this color. You guys know I am a sucker for gray and I love this uh, waffle material. So that's kind of cool. So I actually don't have one of these. I don't even have like an old school one, but you can see this is kind of like a belt. It almost looks like one of those flotation devices that people use when they are snorkeling. So let's see, there's a little like webbing loop on one side and then it's got this long strap here. Actually it's got, so it's um, got loops on either side. So, and then I guess you use this to figure out how to sling it over wherever you need. So you could wear it as a belt because I know a lot of people like to use hot water bottles on their lower back for some 
pain relief. Uh, you could use it as a sling. Let's see, they're suggesting a bunch of different ways. It says heating the average two bedroom home for one day is the equivalent of boiling 274 kettles or 548 UU bottles. UU bottles, I think I said yuzu. So you can use, it's a 81 centimeter long bottle with revolutionary wearable strap for hands-free comfort. It is made with natural biodegradable rubber, never with harmful PVC, and it is endorsed by medical professionals and loved by UU pain warriors. So you can wear it different ways. They're showing around the neck, around the waist, and as a sling, depending on where you need that extra bit of comfort. So I'm guessing, so here is the gathered end. And then you can see, I'm not going to probably be able to pull it out right now, but hopefully it's pretty easy to pull out. So here is the lip of it, and then it looks like it's nice because then you can wash this sleeve, I'm assuming. You can see that it's a waterproof sleeve on the interior, and then this is what it's going to look like once I pull it all the way out. So that's kind of cool, and it's got a nice little plug on the top. So let me know in the comments below if you could use a nice uh, hot water bottle to just warm your feet in the bottom of your bed, too. I think that old school use would work as well. So overall, you guys, this was a this was a very calm, very simple, very mindful curation. Let me know what your favorites were. We got our diffusing rocks and essential oil blend, our hot water bottle, that was kind of our hero item, our bee socks, our habit tracker by Amy Rice, and our mindfulness candle set. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.